Ligi ya Arabia hii Dar es Salaam inaendelea na changamoto kubwa ilionekana mpaka sasa hivi ni kwenye swala la refereeing. Uh, referee hizo wanaonyesha kwamba aidha wanafanya makusudi au wachezaji hawako fit. So imekuwa ni changamoto kubwa kila mtu analalamikia michezo, imekuwa mpaka mashabiki wanafa, wanafanya kuingia viwanjani unaweza kaona hapo nini ambacho kinaendelea kwenye kwenye screen yako. Uh, lakini tuwasikilize Stefano Mshana na Ahmed Islam wakizungumzia uh, wakitoa perception zao kuhusiana na nini ambacho wanakiona wana na changamoto iko wapi zaidi kwenye swala lazima la ku ku officiate games za basketball Tanzania. Tumeumia tu kwenye game sababu it was staff game alafu kwa dogo alikuja kwa kwa aggressive kwa hiyo alikuwa ameenda kwenye block kushua mkono akanipiga ngumi so nimevimba tu. Ngumi inavimbisha. Yeah. Mimi nimevimba. Mimi nimefikia nimepiga ngumi so. Maybe inaweza kwa kitu kingine. <laughs> Unaweza katuonyesha kidogo ili watu waone effect na ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 CC player ambao tuna react tunao tunao react na filimbi zinavyopigwa mm. ndio zinatufanya sisi tucheze vibaya mm. kwa sababu mimi siamini kwamba kuna refa anatoka kule na kuja wewe mm. amekuonea ame anakuonea wewe peke yako individual wewe tu mm. au labda timu yako tu mm. na kwa sababu kila kitu kinaonesema katika kila action ina iko na opposite reaction kwa hiyo wewe jinsi utakavyoiweka vile na outcome itakuwa vile vile kwa hiyo leo game ilikuwa tough na mimi nimeona marefu amehendo vizuri mm. lakini reaction sisi ya wachezaji sisi mm. ikawa to the negative side na mm. kwa ni positive side ukisema kuhendo vizuri kuna uwezekano hicho kilichofanywa hakijaitwa kama ni foul na oh. sawa unasemaje kwamba hiyo ni kuhendo vizuri kwa sababu na hiyo yenyewe ilikuwa ni reaction um, kwa kwa sababu sikuona mm. wala sikusikia maana yake nilipopigwa mm. mimi kichwa kilikuwa kinauma sana kwa hiyo sikusikia chochote mm. kama was it foul or nini au nini lakini pretty much yule jamaa alienda up kwa hiyo sijajua kama referee aliona alienda up baada ya mimi kumkwepa then ndo akashuka na ngumu so sijajua pole sana lakini so unaushauri gani kwa wachezaji na na viongozi wa ligi kuhusiana na hii mambo ambayo yanaendelea kwa sababu hii wewe ni kama mara ya nne fighting ndani ya games zinatokea. Hivi hivi mambo haya za kugongana gongana sukari na kwa nguvu ni kwamba ushindani ni mkubwa sana au utezeshaji ni changamoto. Cha kwanza ni, ni, ni cha kwanza ni sema tu ni mindset ya mchezaji. Sababu mimi siku zote naamini kama timu mkiwa fit, kama timu mkiwa fit. Hizi calls za marefali zinakuwaga ni ndogo sana. Lakini reaction zetu zinatuonyesha kwamba tuko on fit kila timu kwa sababu referee aende kukukosesha wewe ukosea referee akukosesha free throw referee akukosesha free throw so ukifungwa alafu labda umekosa free throw umeshoot kumi ukapata mbili and then na blame on referee it's not cool and um, labda kwa kwa, kwa sisi wachezaji ushauri wangu na ma, ma, na, na viongozi wetu kwa sababu kuna kitendo kibaya kimetokea kwa referee kwa kiongozi wa klabu fulani sasa kumtaja kama mmeona hiyo scenario ni sisi tuweke tu tuweke wale ni matumizi ya damu referee ni mimi kama wewe utakapokosea utamsaidisha mwenzako na wewe una sehemu na kosea kubali kwamba si binadamu tumeumbiwa yaani tukadweka pale kwa hiyo call inaweza ikaja mbaya kwako inaweza kaa nzuri pa siku inaweza kaa mbaya kwako inaweza kuwa nzuri pa na sisi wanaume tunaambia anasema so kama kiongozi kama kiongozi reaction ile kiongozi wasn't good labda alba kwa yeye alifikiria ni nzuri which ambayo ikapelekea wale wale opponent wa timu yake kuona wanaonewa zaidi which kuongezea more panic wow ambayo ilikuwa ni benefits kwetu kwa sababu if wa panic it means sisi tutacheza vizuri lakini yeye kwa namna moja au nyingine ndio alifanya wapi na ukiangalia those are young talent young kids yango wanakuja 
upcoming players sasa ukionyesha vile it means kwamba unapeleka kama the other side ya officiating is bad which inawafanya wao ndio maana ilitokea hata mchezaji mmoja alienda kumjumbia referee kwa sababu ile after that kila mmoja akaona okay wana kionea but sio hivyo basket walishinda kukosa they were pretty aggressive we had to play aggressive kwa hiyo i think ndio hivyo kwa hiyo as a player we need to be fit one big problem is our referees our referees are good but they don't know 100% the rules of the basketball and when you try to have a conversation with them in the court they are threatening you you are taking you don't have a you don't want to have a conversation with them tell you what is wrong or right i just seen a, i just seen a, a nice game right now a nice game uh, in the last two minutes the referee almost ruled the game you see so we trying to do their best to listen to them but you get respect you have to respect so we try to listen to them they should listen to us you see cuz we we ain't trying we ain't trying to do uh play we in NBA we nobody get money all right so listen to each other if you tell me as a travel you do this all right if you did uh, if i do something wrong tell me as a player all right that's what first thing i've been here now almost a month i've been seeing maybe 30 games not one game they call it three seconds yeah you see yeah. but they will call all kind of stupid fouls with a, that's not foul and when you play that like an army team the, the army team threaten the referees yeah. Yeah. you as an official you have to take charge of the game yeah. the other day i saw a man from army come inside and push a referee Where is that in the rules? Where is the set? You have to take that man out of the gym. All right? But they don't want to listen. See, they don't want to listen, but they want us to listen to them. See? You can't work like that. I've been playing basketball 20 years of my life. I know the rules like I know Quran. You see? All right? So for me to say good thing our our referee, I can. You see? So we do mistakes as players. You as a official, you have to teach us. Oh, you did this wrong. Next time, I know. Okay, referee told me that. I will do other things. Right? Don't threaten a player to give him a tech because he's right. Because you know you're wrong. Right? That's the problem we got in this country. We have to fix it. We have to fix it. So what you're saying is, is the problem from the referees or referees of the organization Bareda, or the problem is with the. Uh, BB. Uh, my problem is our referee don't know the rule 120%. I played a game this morning. We didn't, we didn't have a 24 shot clock. That's, that, can, that can happen. As you, as an official, after 30 seconds, say something. Say maybe, guys, you got five seconds left. All right, but this referee told me, no, no, we don't play with the rule. What? But in, in here, we got 24 seconds. So we, we, We play two different rules. We can't have it. Because our players have been here every year for the last seven years. Players are getting better and better and better and better. We're learning the game. Right? Hazi, they played a good game today. Even all, uh, the other team, they played a good game. But the last three minutes, the referee almost ruined the game. Almost ruined the game. Again. So the problem with our basketball referees. 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 We have to study the game. Right? We have to. Uh, what about players' reactions towards the that, That's another thing. Yeah. Me as a player, if I come and touch you, yeah. you, you have to give a take. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I can talk to you polite. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But we, when we do that, yeah. they're threatening us, we give a check. Yeah. And you can't find that in, in FIBA rules, like yeah. I can talk to the referee. But have you seen that um, many players, when they do wrong, the only solution for them or the only help that they can get is towards the referee, that the referee is not right. Yeah, and the referee can tell a guy, my man, you did this wrong, yeah. all right, yeah. and this wrong. Then the player goes, okay, 
referee told me I, I handshake, I slap yeah. guy, yeah. but I should move my feet, man. But the referee, they don't have a communication with ah, us. Even they, even when they have the communication, players are afraid of the coaches. Of course, because so they, if they are afraid of the coaches, they are trying to deny the truth yeah. Yeah, that they won the fault. Yes, I know, but listen, in this game, nobody's perfect. Jordan was not perfect. You see, LeBron James is not perfect. He doing mistakes too. All right, but you as a official, you have to teach these players to do the right thing. If you know the right thing, tell me. Tell me, don't threaten me with a tech. Huh? That's my only opinion of the referees. All right, I know, I know a guy from Denmark. He he refereeing a Euro League. He came down here in Tanzania. He had a clinic to coach referees. When he came back to Denmark. He told me, Tanzania referee are bad. He's a big B. See? That's why he's trying to come here every year to help our referees too. Getting better and better. But I would love to see one of the referees coach in Euroleague, coach out of Tanzania. But right now, we, we stuck. Because they don't want to listen to the players. You see? So that's what I'm saying, and that's why uh, I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm not half a man here, all right? Then, but I saw a guy from military come in and push a referee. That's push a referee, right? That would not happen nowhere in Europe, nowhere in East Africa. But I don't know why people just near the afraid of the military so much. You know what I mean? Even the referees, they're, they're scared. Every time we play, take a team. Our army team, ABC, yeah. the referee got them like 75% in their call, their favor. So you have to play against five players and the referees. All right? So we need to step our game up as official. Huh? Talk to the players and explain what the, what's the issue. All right? What's the issue? That's the only thing I'm saying. I love to play down here. I love to play in Chelsea. Thank you so Serious, much. Serious, right? Yeah. Same yeah. you, man. Yeah. Serious, all right? Yeah. All right.